All right, this is for you, Diana. This is a little video. Um, this game, this board is three games in one um, with this set. It, uh, th this set right here of pieces, um, they're double-sided, um, is to play a game called Hexagon, um, where players um, can jump and spread. Um, and as they spread, as they come together, they convert one another. And uh, all, all adjacent tiles are converted. So when they jump, they also convert tiles where they land. Um, that's hexagon. And the back of this board is Go, which is an ancient Chinese game. It's played in Korea, in Japan, and here in the States. Um, it's a game of encircling. Um, it's a game of capturing territory. Um, it's a game of divining um, and, and telling, telling fortunes and telling the future. And um, the, the yellow stones represent day and the maroon represent night um, and yin and yang. Um, and it's, uh, it's an incredibly complex it's incredibly simple, um, but it, what comes from those simple rules becomes infinitely complex. Very fun game. Very heady. Um, and the game that you saw is most recent game, Booped. Um, Booped can be a two- or three-player game. And you're, you play with these, um, these multicolored cubes. So, you'll notice the color pattern of the cube matches um, the color pattern of the board. So, um, a booped, a boop, uh, a boop -a dupa can move across, can roll, essentially a roll across um, a barrier of, its, of the color that's facing up. So right now pink is facing up, so that means this, this little, little guy can rotate across the pink like this. Boop. Now you see yellow is up. And now this little fellow can rotate. This yellow is up. It can rotate across a yellow line. Boop. Pink is up. Boop. Now you see yellow is up. And I have two yellow lines here and here. This is space, though. I don't want to go in there. But if my opponent has a piece behind me that happens to be facing yellow up, and look, there's a yellow one in between us, my opponent can boop into me. Boop. Knocking me into space where I float until I get my other piece all the way across the board, which is the goal. The goal is to get both of your pieces across the board. When this piece makes it across the board, this piece is special. It doesn't fit the mold. I was experimenting when I made them. Um, when this piece makes it across the board, the one that got booped into space can come back. And this piece is now in a position to boop the original booper. So right now we have a pink line in between them and so this one has pink facing up and so this one can boop boop right into this one now this one didn't get knocked into space that means it just goes home it goes back to its home home where it begins so imagine if you will a three-player game Do, do, do. So, this is player one. Player one wants to get through here to the other side of the hexagon. Player two wants to get from here to the other side of the hexagon. And player three wants to get to this side of the hexagon. So off they go on their merry booping way, aiming to get to the other side, one at a time, of course, I'm not actually playing 
one at a time right now, but I can, I can do that. And what happens before too long is the players begin to meet in the center of the board. Um, and as they meet, they begin to boop one another. And the booping, um, there was a great boopening that occurs. Right now we have these two players next to each other, but they have a yellow barrier between them, and they're both pink side up. So they're not in danger of one another. Um, however, this player can choose which way. Let's say this player has pink up and they want to go to this tile. It's okay. They can do that. There's a pink barrier, so that's fine. But they can decide what, what they want to be facing up when they get here. If they move like this, blue will be facing up, and they'll be able to boop straight this way. But if they didn't think about that, maybe, or if they wanted to do something else, when they rotate like this, yellow 